Good morning, everybody. For a long time, for a long time, we are taking the chemistry class, right? I hope all you are fine, staying at home. Start of the life, so start the class now. Today, we will discuss about the one of the most important compounds in organic chemistry that is halogen derivatives. Halogen derivatives, compounds which are derived from the hydrocarbon. Compounds which are derived from the hydrocarbons. May be aliphatic. Aromatic. Compounds which are derived from the hydrocarbons. The hydrocarbon may be aliphatic or may be aromatic. For the replacing of hydrogen atoms. For example, RH. It is a hydrocarbon. If it is replacing by this hydrogen atom with one halogen, they converting into carbons. If you think it's a compound, alkane. This hydrogen atom replacing by the one of the halogen atom, we convert it into RH. Known as the alkyl halogen. A simple compounds which are derived from the hydrocarbons, like as aliphatic, aromatic. By replacing of hydrogen atom with the halogen are known as halogen derivatives. In this, this R may be aliphatic or aromatic. For example, if it is aliphatic. CX. If it is aromatic, means one of the hydrogen atom of the benzene ring replaced by the halogen. Aliphatic, aromatic. Both these are hydrocarbons, just replacing of one hydrogen. So they are converting into halogen derivatives, maybe of aliphatic halogens or aromatic halogens. These compounds are widely used in many industries. For example, 
in pharmaceuticals hello ethe which is used as anesthetic to make the unconscious well maybe not any surgeon you know but is they are using the compo for the as an anesthetic substance it's an halogen degree chloroquine is a better antibiotic which was treating for the malaria is a well known drug as you observe in the tv so that uh, most of the doctors will be using this one as the form of hydroxychloroquine for the treatment of the corona virus we are exposed these drugs are exported to the many of the countries just like as in usa also so it is also one of the drug which is belongs to the halogen derivatives similarly as a refrigerant ccl2 dapto freya so these are the halogen derivatives i repeat again halogen compounds are those which are derived from the hydrocarbons by replacing of one hydrogen with the halogen they may be aliphatic or may be aromatic in the aliphatic compounds look at this carbon and halogen having of what bond it is now sigma it is single bond a sigma bond is present between the any compounds what was hybridized to the carbon now sp3 whereas come to the aryl halides as you know very well in benzene all carbon atoms are involved in the sp2 hybridization due to presence of lone pairs on the halogen atom it is in, involved in the resonance that means it has the partial double bond character that is pdch regularly in benzene all carbon atoms are involved in sp2 hybridization that is in the aliphatic alkyl halides are halogen derivative carbon atom involved in sp3 in aromatic halogen derivatives that is aryl halides the halogen atom is bonded with the sp2 carbon when come to this aryl halides are more stronger than come to the aliphatic compound reason this lone pair of the halogen atom will be involved in resonance between the aromatic carbon and halogen so they get the partial double bond character according to your chemical bond as the number of bonds are increases bond energy of the compound also increases so as the bond 
energy increases. That bond, that means this bond is very strong. So, comparing the aromatic, aromatic halogen derivatives bond is very strong due to this PDCH partial double bond character. It is generally what we know about the halogen derivatives. Okay. These are used widely when as compared to paras uh, pharmaceuticals, refrigerant, fire extinction, and CCL4, carbon tetrachloride, which is known as the under trade name of pyron. It is used as the as a fire extinction. The well-known antibody which is nothing but the hydroxychloroquine. Used as the malaria treatment. Nowadays, this drug is using for the treatment of coronavirus. Also. Okay. That becomes the topic now. By replacing O, X is converting into R. So, as per your second day syllabus, these halogen derivatives are named in the mirror. At the topic, halo alkenes. Halo alkenes, halo aliens. Just like I said now, if between the R is an sp3 carbon, then halo alkenes. If it is sp2 carbon, halo aliens. So, depends on the hybridized, that means with this halogen atom connecting with the an sp3 carbon or an sp2 carbon. Depends on these two, these are two types, whether the baby of aliphatic compounds or aromatic. As per the IUPAC things, this aliphatic halogen derivatives are known as the haloalkenes. Aromatic halogen derivatives are known as the haloenes. So, how we identify when this R is an sp3 carbon that come under the haloalkenes? If it is an sp2, that come under the haloenes. Classification. So, depends on number of hydrogen atom replacing by halogens. It may be one or more than one of If it is one, which is called as the mono derivative of halogens. If it is more than two also. So, this classification one is based on the number of halogen atoms replaceable from the hydrocarbon. It was classified into
mono halogen derivatives trihalogen derivatives trihalogen tetrahalogen derivatives depends on the number of hydrogen atoms replaced by the hydrogen atoms if it is only one hydrogen is replaced from the hydrocarbon we get monohalogen derivatives if it is two dihalogen three tri four tetrahalogen if at all all the hydrogen atoms of the hydrocarbons are replaced by halogen atoms or known as polyhalogen derivatives if it is more than one di if it is two tri if it is three tetra if it is four more than one all these di and tri and tetra will also come under the polyhalogen derivatives as per your intermediate syllabus we have the first one and second monohalogen derivatives as well as the dihalogen derivatives the general formula of monohalogen derivatives is r ch2 s because only one halogen is replacing by the replaced by hydrogen if it is two Di halides. If it is three, tri halides. So one of the classification is based on the number of hydrogen atoms replaced by halogens in the hydrocarbon. But there will be a value for the other one. Mono, di, tri, and tetra. If all the hydrogens of hydrocarbons are replaced by the halogen atoms, those compounds are known as the polyhalogen derivatives. In general, except the monohalogen derivatives. Di, tri, tetra are also called as the polyhalogen derivatives. This is the general formula for the representation of mono, di, tri, and the tetra. For example, for tetra, CH4. Mono halogen derivatives. That means its general formula is nothing but the R CH two X. That is only one halogen atom 
is bonded to the anesthetic carbon. That is one of the hydrogen atom replaced by the halogen. We get the monohalogen derivatives. This monohalogen derivatives are also further divided into based on the attachment of halogen to the type of carbon. It is one is based on the based on number of halogen atoms. That is more of a dihydride. Among of the mono halogen derivatives, on the basis of halogen atom connected to the bonded with the or attachment with the type of carbon. This mono halogen derivatives further divide into three types. Look at all this. This carbon is connected with only one carbon. So, if a carbon connected with only one other carbon atom, or no other carbon atoms are known as the primary carbon, or one degree carbon. It is known as the primary halogen derivative, that is primary alkyl halogen. Now come to this halogen atom connecting with the carbon. This carbon is connecting with the two other carbon. So it is known as the secondary alkyl halogen. It is connecting with the three other carbon atoms. So, pressure. Monohalogen derivatives further classified into on the basis attachment of halogen to the type of carbon. If it is connected with the primary carbon or one degree carbon, that is known as the primary alkyl carbon. If it is connected with the 2 degree carbon, known as the second degree, with 3 degree carbon atom is tertiary alkyl carbon. This first two. Second. This halogen, the monohalogen derivative. This halogen atom may be connected with the sp3 or maybe sp2 or sp also. So, classification based on the attachment of halogen to the sp3 carbon. First one is based on the type of carbon which is attached. Second one, the halogen atom connected with the sp3 carbon. This primary, secondary, tertiary are also come under the classification come under the sp3 carbon connected with the halogen atom. In this, there is another classification is also here. For example, this carbon is 
and SP three one. Connected with the SP two carbon or a double bonded carbon. It is an alkene, but the carbon this was involved in SP three. Primary these two carbons are now. sp2 so if i replace this one of these hydrogen atoms with hydrogen so it is a hydrogen connecting with which one sp3 carbon which is bonded with the carbon double bond carbon or sp2 carbon such a type of halogen derivatives or mono alkyl derivatives are known as allylic halogens so if a halogen atom connected with the sp3 carbon adjacent into carbon double bond carbon or known as the Allylic halides. These allylic halides are also further divided into. Now it is only one hydrogen is replaceable, so it is come under the one degree allylic halide. It is also sp3 adjacent to the carbon double bond carbon, so it is also allylic. But come to the two degree allylic. It was come under the three degree allylic, one degree, two degree, and the three degree. It is the classification which is based on the connecting of halogen atom to the sp3 carbon. Mono halogen that is one degree, two degree, three degree is also come under the sp3. Second category is nothing but the allylic. Halides. Among of the category of sp3 carbon connecting with the halogens, third one is benzene. It is an sp3 carbon connecting with the sp2. An sp3 carbon connecting to the sp2 is an aliphatic compound. Whereas in this case, it is now an sp3 carbon connecting to the aromatic ring. Generally, it was known as methyl benzene or toluene. If I replace it with 
by replace one of the hydrogen with the halogen. Now we are converting into mono halogen daily. SP3 So if a halogen connected to the SP3 adjacent to aromatic ring, that is SP2 carbon, are known as benzylic halogens. SP3 carbon adjacent to carbon double bond carbon in aliphatic chain are known as allylic and SP3 carbon connecting with the aromatic ring are known as the benzylic carbon. So, it depends on the attack rate of halogen to the allylic carbon and benzylic carbon. These are also come under the mono halogen derivatives. Similarize the allylic halides, this benzylic halides also based on the type of carbon with which it is attached. It is further divided into again three types, just like as the allylic halides. It is what we can call as the primary benzylic halide or one degree benzylic halide. Three. halides, primary, secondary, tertiary. Similarly, benzylic also. One degree, two degree, and the three. Primary, secondary, tertiary. So it is the classification of attachment of halogen to the sp3 carbon among of the mono halogen derivatives, right? Among of the mono halogen derivatives, second part classification attachment of halogen SP2 carbon. First one is mono halogen derivatives. Attachment of halogen to the sp3 carbon. Now come to second one. Attachment of halogen to the sp2 carbon. For example, the simplest alkene which is known as the ethylene molecule. If I replace this one of the hydrogen atoms with the halogen. It is also mono halogen derivatives connected to the sp2 carbon. Such type of compounds are known as the vinylic. If a halogen directly connected with the sp2 carbon, 
those halogens are known as the V nitric halides. Similarly, in benzene, all the atoms are involved in sp2. So if it is connected with the halogen, there is an aromatic halogen. These are known as the aryl compounds. Vinyl aryl compounds. Classification based on the attachment of halogen to the sp2 carbon atom. That is vinyl and aryl compounds. So it is. One of the classification based on the replacement of hydrogen with the halogen. There is no no halogen derivatives. I repeat again, mono halogen derivatives are those if one hydrogen atom replaced with the one of the halogen atom. Right. These monohalogen derivatives are further classified into one based on the attachment of halogen to the type of carbon, primary, secondary, tertiary. Number two, attachment of halogen to the sp3 carbon. Example, allylic and benzylic halides. Second category, attachment of halogen to the sp2 carbon. Vinyl halides and aryl halides. It is the classification of monohalogen derivatives. Dihalides. If both the halogen atoms present on the same carbon, these are two halogens replaced by the two hydrogens. So, which are common are the dihalides. Among of the dihydrides, if two halogens present on the same carbon atom are known as the germinal dihydride. If two halogens present on the same carbon atom, those are known as the germinal dihydrides. Hmm. This is easy. If I remove two hydrogens, now we can have CH4. That is just like as an ethene molecule, an alkene compound. Look at this molecule also. Two hydrogens are present in this two carbons. Instead of six hydrogens, they are containing of only four. So, these are also known as. Alkylene. 
dihalates. The mineral dihalates are also known as the alkylene dihalides. If two halogens are present on the adjacent carbon, same carbon, germinal, adjacent carbon atoms, vicinal dihalides. Vicinal dihalides are also known as Alkyline dihydrates. Sometimes they give a common name also. Without you have to identify whether it's a germinal dihydrates or vicinal dihydrates. If it is mentioned as alkyline, that is a germinal. Alkyline, vicinal dihydrates. It is also common to the one type of dihalide. It is such type of dihalides are known as the isolated dihalides. So there are three types of dihalides: zaminal, vicinal, isolated dihalides. Two halogens of same carbon is germinal. If adjacent carbon atoms are vicinal, that is not on same carbon or adjacent, then such type of are known as the isolated dihalides. Come to third one. Trihalides. It is a general form. For example, if all these are halogen atoms, or maybe chlorine, or maybe bromine, or maybe iodine, in case if these are chlorine atoms of a carbon, for example, CHCl3, CHBr3, CHI. Trihalides are known as the halophones. Trihalides are also known as halophones. So, if it is a chlorine, which was known as the chloroform, if it is bromine. Bromo form, if it is iodine, iodo form. CHI are very familiar reactions in our organic chemistry, which is called iodo form test that you can learn in further classes. So, these trihalides are also known as the haloforms. If it is chlorine, chloroform, bromine, bromo form, and iodine is iodo form. Fourth one, Trihalides. 
tetrahedrons there's four bonds of the carbon connected with the halogens tetrahedrons are also known as the Para halo organs because all the hydrogens are replaced by the halogens. For example, CCL4, commonly known as the carbon tetrachloride. Is on this name per halo organs, which is known as the per chloro methane. It is what about the classification of the halogen derivatives, halo alkenes. Monohalogen derivatives, dihalogen derivatives, trihalogen, and the tetrahalogen. This classification is based on the number of hydrogen atoms are replaced by or replaced from hydrocarbon with the halogens. Mono, di, tri, and the tetra. Among of the mono is further divided into two types. That is, it depends on the attachment of halogen to the sp3 carbon and the sp2 carbon. Based on this classification, also in M set level, they may ask the questions. They give some examples to you. Find out the following compound as a alkyne or benzyl or benzyl. For example, Find out the following <coughs> halogen derivatives as aldehyde, benzyl, aryl. Find out. We know. So come to our class. What I will discuss just now. If a halogen directly connected with the sp3 carbon, come under the monohalogen derivatives. Among of the monohalogen derivatives, depends on the attachment of halogen to type of carbon. They may be classified primary, secondary, tertiary. 
and sp3 carbon connected with the double carbon double bond carbon is aligned okay halogen are connected with the sp3 carbon adjacent to the aromatic ring is benzylic if it is connected directly with the sp2 carbon vinylic if it is connected directly with the Aromatic ring, aryl. Look at this. Now this is a carbon which is connected with the sp3. Adjacent to which one now? Carbon double bond carbon. So it is. Allied carbon. Look at this. Benzyl carbon. It is an sp3 carbon. Connecting with the benzene ring. So it is benzyl. I come to this case. The fluorine directly connecting with the benzene. So with all the carbons in this is nothing but the sp2 ion. So it is aryl carbon. Look at this case. There is no double bond. So it is a monohalogen derivative. Among the monohalogen derivative, you have to find out whether the primary or secondary or tertiary. So what of this carbon? Connecting with the 1, 2, 3. So it is a 3 degree alkyl halide. Come to this case now. Halogen directly connecting with the sp2 carbon, but it is not aromatic. It's an aliphatic carbon. So it is vinyl carbon. Okay. So such type of questions are also possible in the concept level of questions, or maybe as per your two months more questions of more events. Okay, it's just only an introduction part towards the halogen and its derivatives, whether they may be of aliphatic or maybe aromatic. Okay. I hope you understand very well. We will be again tomorrow. Okay? Thank you.